Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and in our third part of Linux Networking Basics uh, we will look into ICMP and Ping Utility. So and from there the fun part begins because we will be diving deep into concepts and I hope once you watch the full video you will have a better understanding uh, for networks and ICMP. So let's start. So basically, uh, ping is a utility used to diagnose networks. Uh, ping uses ICMP, which stands for Internet Control Messaging Protocol. Uh, it is a protocol designed for diagnostics and network reachability. So it is a network layer protocol, meaning that it works on the layer 3 of OSI model. And all ICMP packets have 8 bytes of header. Uh, there are 0 to 256 types of ICMP and well I will not go into much details but I will mention the important ones uh, 0 stands for eco reply uh, type 3 is destination unreachable and in type 3 we have a lot of codes and uh, I'll just get back to it in a moment uh, but uh, then I would like to mention type 5 is redirect and type 8 is echo uh, request. Uh, type 11 is time exceed. So basically ping utility uses ICMP type 8 uh, that is echo request and type and receives type 0 which is echo reply. So type 8 is request to machine if it's willing to communicate then type 0 is reply from that machine. So now let's uh, try to capture the ICMP packet with the utility called TCP, uh, uh, TCP dump and we will look TCP dump in more detail in our future video but let's uh, concentrate on ICMP in this video. I just want to show you how the packet looks like. So as you can see uh, we have this uh, CentOS 7 and CentOS 7 basically I have just splitted this uh, screen into two they are the same machines you can see IPADDR show will reveal that it's uh, 1.3 and IPADDR show will reveal that it's the same machine okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ping one machine here uh, which is our slack box and its IP address is 228 okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to just uh, run TCP dump uh, in my CentOS box in this upper screen and if you don't have well TCP dump is installed by default in most of the distros but if you don't have you can always download TCP dump with jump hyphen y install TCP dump okay okay so TCP dump dash VV VV stands for very verbose N, N stands for like don't resolu uh, resolve the names. Uh, C is to count and I'm just going to capture 8 packets. Okay and what I'm going to capture is ICMP and I'm going to write the output to let's call it pinger.pcap. Okay press enter okay and now I'll just ping 192.168.1.228 and you can see that it will start counting the packets 4, 6 and 8 packets have been captured okay let's go to our top screen and let's read the capture. To read the capture, you use TCP dump dash r, okay, and the file name. So let's press enter. Okay, let me clear the screen again. Less. Okay, so here uh, you can see packet 1 in this uh, first field, then 2, 3, and you can go on 4, and basically there are 8 packets. 
So the reason is first is request you can see uh, server one dot local to one nine two one six eight one two two eight and this is ICMP echo request and the ID is two two four two okay and sequence is one and then from one nine two one six eight one dot two two eight to server one dot local there is a echo reply you can see that so that clearly explains our uh, the thing which I was explaining you earlier that uh, the machine who first uh, communicates with the, another machine it first sends an echo request and then if this machine is willing to communicate it uh, replies with that echo and basically this is the echo request is uh, type 8 and echo reply is type 0 okay okay let's see what will happen if uh, there is a there's this machine is dead or this machine is not available so we can just check if what machine is dead I think let's call it 1.70 okay so this machine is not available I'm just going to capture the data again with and I'll call this dead finger dot pcap okay press enter Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, good. Let's go and read the content. Okay, press enter. And you can see that uh, this. IP serv like server like server1.local is sending sending echo request to iPad well I think my iPad has this IP address we can just try to check to ping another machine but anyway you can see that it's like uh, only sending echo request but it's not getting any reply okay let's try to ping another I'll call it dead finger 2 oops sorry about that dead finger 2 okay let's try to ping 170 instead of 70 and there is totally lost because this uh, destination host is unreachable this means this there is no such machine so why it's not working uh, let me change the uh, how uh, TCP dump will capture the packet okay control C okay control C so how I'm going to capture is mm, let's capture it with host so I just want to capture everything originating from and coming to 1.3 which is my machine and ICMP okay so 8 packets host 192.168.1.3 and ICMP and write it to that okay I hope this time it will work Let's try to ping that. Control B. Okay. Okay, still not working. Okay, just a minute. Okay, let's not capture this.
okay we will do it the other way uh, with this what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture 30 packets of TCP dump and write it to uh, finger to dot cap and then I will ping because this uh, system is dead there is no such system so that's why it will it's not able to ping or the destination host is unreachable you can see the uh, error message on the screen right away so just uh, to sh uh, see what TCP dump will show us uh, we will see the ARP request so let's uh, check that okay control B ping 170 okay so it's already captured but that you know, these packets are enough or let's remove this again and try to capture it finger to cap well it was wrong anyway should be pcap okay and 30 packets enough enter control b okay perfect let's see 21 okay done now let's uh, check the content of our package uh, the packets or the file sorry so to read it you already know tcp dump dash r and pinger 2.pcap and I'm going to just pipe it to less okay so just come to the line where it's asking 170 over here so there's an ARP and it's uh, address resolution protocol basically ARP stands for there's a request who has 192.168.170 tell server1.local and there's no response then there will be again there will be a request over here a request who has 192.168.1.170 at 170 tell server 1.local nothing and then it's just keep on asking there the, again there's a new request who has 192 so that's how the, it's it's just keeps on asking there's an ARP request and if it's not able to find the uh, IP address so it just keeps the loop or you can just uh, control C to close this ping uh, anyway we can see on the screen also that the destination host is unreachable okay one last thing I would like to show you guys I'll just pause the video uh, the types or codes of type 3 uh, please okay so on the screen you can see this ICMP protocol types and codes and I have specially uh, created this, this slide so you can you guys have a better understanding so ICMP type 3 has codes 0 stands for net unreachable 1 is host unreachable 2 is protocol unreachable and so on and you can uh, check from this uh, diagram or you or, you, or this picture or this slide that it has 15 like 16 basically codes and the last uh, and there's every uh, most of the codes are very important you can see this uh, seven destination host unknown and destination network unknown so while troubleshooting networks um, I hope you will find these codes uh, of, uh, very valuable so let's go back to our uh, CentOS box okay guys so I'm back to uh, my CentOS box and I hope you guys have uh, a clear understanding now of I ICMP and how it works and in our next video we will see more net networking tools and more concepts and at the end of this video series you guys will have a very good understanding how the packets work in our network so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe to my youtube channel Linux King and like us on Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash Linux King 77. Thank you and have a good one.